Several emergency management agencies have been reporting issues with GPS maps when it comes to current road closures in the region. This in the aftermath of Hurricane Helene. News Channel 11's Jayana Scurry breaks down how these agencies are adjusting to these problems. The Washington County Johnson City EMS team is just one entity in the region that's experienced rerouting for washed out roads and bridges, especially in the southern part of Washington County near the Nolichucky River. Just a little bit of delay with, with the ambulance as far as getting it over that way, but it's, it's really not that much of a delay, maybe just less than five minutes added on to probably our response times. Brandon Archer, Deputy Chief of the Washington County Johnson City EMS, ensures there's no actual delay in getting to patients, as they do have first response units that are stationed over there full time. When flooding was happening, response was difficult. We had some issues getting equipment and personnel over in that area due to the bridges being washed out. Uh, we, had to, we had to send a couple of teams actually into Greene County and down the Greene County side of 107. The nighttime we had a, a couple of crews that got flown in by helicopter. Archer says they've been made aware of road closures, but for many, GPS still may not be updated. Now I'm standing on what is left of Bill Mock Road, and as you can see behind me here, the road has been entirely washed away from the flooding. Now this area is just on down from where Bailey Bridge used to be. And as you can see from my GPS, the route still shows that Bill Mock Road is still here. TDOT, the Tennessee Department of Transportation, sent us a response saying they coordinate with geolocation partners like Apple, Google, and Waze to keep them updated on all road closures and construction projects across the region and state. Especially during events such as Hurricane Helene, it is so important to communicate with them the need to keep roadways closed on the mapping systems so that traffic would not be routed through the impacted areas. Archer says if anyone encounters a road close sign, please don't continue driving. The last thing we want is for them to be driving on a, a road that's washed out and then have, a, have an incident occur there because a lot of those roads are not going to be traveled frequently. Uh, so it could be, take quite a bit of time before anybody is made aware of an incident that's occurred in that area. In Washington County, Jayana Scurry, News Channel 11.